Welcome to the Victorian Desalination Plant. Part of Victoria's water supply network, it provides a secure, high quality water source to supplement existing catchments whenever required. As big as the MCG, this living roof joins with constructed dunes and natural landscape, linking built and natural environment. Although one of the biggest plants in the world, its very small footprint takes up just 38 hectares of its 263 hectare site. The remaining 225 hectares is one of the largest ecological restoration projects in Victoria's history and now includes wetlands, coastal and swampy woodland, providing new habitat for local fauna. Accessible to the general community at all times, it incorporates bike riding paths, walking and equestrian trails and bird viewing platforms. Located 15 metres below the seabed, the plant's intake and outlet tunnels extend 1.2 kilometres and 1.5 kilometres offshore. More than 20 metres below the surface, their associated structures draw in seawater and return brine to the ocean. At the seawater lift pump station, seawater from the intake tunnel is pumped onto the plant via delivery channels. Drum screens remove particles before the water enters the screen and feed building, where it is pumped under pressure to the dual media pressure filters. Here, the seawater is filtered through layers of filter coal and fine sand, which trap the particles exactly the same way as swimming pool filters work. Backwash from cleaning these filters is collected and pumped to the solids treatment building. Here it is thickened and dewatered in a settlement and centrifuge process. Solid material is taken off site while the separated clean salty water is returned to the sea. In the reverse osmosis building, the highly filtered pre-treated water is pressure fed through membranes to separate the salt from the water to produce pure water or permeate. The energy efficient design of the reverse osmosis process incorporates devices that significantly reduce its power consumption. The potabilization process remineralizes the water with calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide. Chlorine and fluoride are then added to the water, which now meets the high quality standards the Victorians expect of their drinking water. The treated and remineralized water is now moved to storage, ready to enter the transfer pipeline. Running at full capacity, the plant can fill these 70 million litre ponds in just three to four hours. A series of transfer pumps then pressurise this stored water, pushing it through an 84 kilometre pipeline to delivery points serving communities throughout Melbourne, South Gippsland and Western Port. The pipeline is designed as a two-way, which means that if water from the desalination plant is not required, Water from Cardinia Reservoir can be delivered to communities in Western Port and South Gippsland. A booster pump station at Clyde North provides additional pressure when required to ensure effective water delivery all the way to Cardinia Reservoir. At full flow, from the seawater intake structure 1.2 kilometres out to sea to Cardinia Reservoir, 84 kilometres away, it takes just 18 hours to transfer a drop of seawater to drinking water and deliver it to Melbourne. An 87 kilometre underground cable, the longest of its type in the world, delivers power to the desalination plant. Fibre optic monitoring cables laid alongside the power and transfer pipeline control monitoring and communicate important information on the performance of the pipe and power networks to the plant control room. If the reverse osmosis building is the heart of the desalination plant, the plant control room is its nerve centre. Around the clock, trained specialists closely monitor the plant's operation to ensure every piece of equipment is operating exactly as it should and the desalinated water meets the very exacting government and Melbourne water specifications. 
Constant water quality monitoring is fundamental to the production of high quality drinking water. More than 250 online monitoring points are used to check water quality from the moment the water enters the intake tunnel to the return of brine to the ocean and delivery of drinking water to Melbourne. To ensure these results are correct, samples taken regularly across the plant are tested and verified in its laboratory. This internal testing regime is also monitored by an external laboratory that independently tests water samples and verifies the results provided by the desalination plant. Completed by joint venture partners with years of experience in building, maintaining and operating desalination plants around the world, the Victorian desalination plant will, as required, reliably supply Victorians with the highest quality drinking water for many years to come. Thank you.